I was 12, he was 11. Chase Walker has been running the U Pick Red Barn with his cousin McNeil for the past 11 years. But this is where our, our bigger pumpkins. But walk through this six acre Idaho Falls farm this fall and it feels like something is missing. This year has been um, really hard. In April, McNeil was riding his tractor near Roberts when a semi truck slammed into him. The 21 year old died on the scene. And for a while, Chase wondered if their pumpkin patch would go on. I mean, there's been times where it's been extremely hard. When we planted, it was really difficult to kind of wrap our, our, our heads around McNeil not being here. But I, I got to a point where it's like McNeil would be, you know, he would be wanting everything to go on. Because of McNeil's death, planting of the pumpkins was delayed this year, and Chase worried that the crop might not be successful. But he believes his cousin, who's no longer here, continues to help make the barn succeed. A miracle, really, that that we were blessed with so many pumpkins, and I think McNeil probably has a, definitely has a hand in us being blessed with so many pumpkins, that's for sure. The U Pick Red Barn is more than just pumpkins. There's fun for the kids, hot donuts, caramel popcorn, and more. This is our, our train that we had built two years ago. Chase says even though his cousin, business partner, and best friend is no longer with him, he's determined to carry on. I actually enjoy coming here now. It brings back so many memories that we had. Just kind of uplifts me and, and knows, helps me feel like everything's okay. In Idaho Falls, Nate Eaton, eastidahonews.com.